Hey, what's up guys? Doing a quick editing video today. Sometimes when I do a long exposure, the uh, water is not quite as smooth as I'd like it to be. So uh, I'll show you how to take it into Photoshop and uh, just blur and mask that in. It's a pretty simple technique, but it can really add to like the uh, vibe and mood of your image. So let's uh, jump into Lightroom and Photoshop and uh, see what we can do. All right, here we have a simple shot I took uh, of a sunset the other night. Uh, nothing special, just uh, the water wasn't quite as blurry as I'd like it to be because my shutter wasn't long enough. This is only a 1.6 second shutter so I wanted to uh, <clears throat> get this water a little smoother. Um, I just didn't have a filter that was able to slow my shutter down anymore. So anyway, uh, I've done some basic adjustments here. Uh, I took out some spots. Let me show you those spots real quick. Um, just some sensor dust and a couple of debris things. Just have some basic adjustments, a tiny exposure bump. So yeah, actually I did a graduated filter here just to get that sky uh, a little uh, more contrasty. Let's uh, just go ahead and jump into Photoshop. Right click your photo, edit in Adobe Photoshop. All right, here we have our photo in Photoshop. Pull this out here so I can see it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is duplicate this layer. Right click on it and duplicate layer. Okay, so I have my duplicated layer. I'm gonna go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, I have it pretty high. But I think I'm gonna go very heavy for this image, somewhere around 80 there. Maybe even a little more. Yeah, all right, so 90 pixels is what I'm going at. Hit OK. And then you wanna click your mask down here, but hold Alt or Option, and it'll bring it in with a, with a black mask. All right, so we're gonna click B to grab our brush. I'm gonna put my opacity up to 100 for now. Okay, and I have white selected as my color. Pull this out a little bit. All right, we just paint this over. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna bring my opacity down to about 25% there and just kind of blend it in to that texture in the back. I kind of like how the texture in the back is still there a little bit. Just to draw some interest into that center line. It's not like a crazy composition or anything. I just uh, wanted to take this to show how you can get a smoother water when you don't have a long shutter speed. All right, so there we go. Now you can take this opacity down a bit if you want to bring some of that texture back in just to make it a little more natural. Or you can keep it at 100 and make it very ethereal and composite-y. Uh, but it looks like, you know, maybe like a one, two, four minute exposure, something like that. But yeah, very simple technique and it's very easy to do. But that's a good way to smooth the water out if you didn't have a long enough shutter speed. I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick and easy uh, Photoshop tutorial and we'll catch up with you next time. Thanks guys. See you next time.